A protest will be held in the city tomorrow to oppose the state government's plan to extend Grenfell Street through Rymel Park as part of the Oban Tunnel project. Kim Robertson is live at Rymel Park. Kim, what are the concerns? Well, Brenton, the state government's planned upgrade of the Oban includes a four-lane dual carriageway through Rymel Park here, and some environmentalists are concerned about the potential destruction of some trees in its pathway, including this elm, which is more than 100 years old. They're also concerned about the potential impact um, on the ambience uh, of the park for visitors to the lake cafe and children's playground. So a group called Save Rymel Park has formed in opposition to the proposal, and they say that the project can and should go ahead without encroaching on the parklands. They are National Heritage listed and we don't believe that anybody should start tampering with the parklands without there being a very good reason. So in response, the state government says Rundle Road is being closed and returned to parklands. So we're actually ending up with more parklands than we did before. Now, to tomorrow's rally, it will take place in Rundle Mall ahead of a community consultation meeting with the government. And one such event did take place today in Tea Tree Gully. And people I spoke to there, um, a, a lot of them welcome the plan, but some uh, were concerned about the park and ride facilities across metropolitan Adelaide and the fact that they potentially can't cope with uh, the influx in passengers. Well, I think they need to upgrade the car parks before they upgrade the O-Barn. I think as long as um, where they start off from Tea Tree Plaza or wherever, that they've got parking available to put their cars there so they can catch the bus, you know. So, Brenton, if you want to have your say on the project, you better get in quickly because the state government's public consultation phase finishes at the end of the month.